Catherine Howard, the ill-fated fifth wife of Henry VIII. In the grand tapestry of Tudor history, one name stands out as a symbol of youthful innocence and tragic fate, Catherine Howard, the fifth wife of King Henry VIII. Her brief, tumultuous reign as queen is a story of forbidden love, courtly intrigue, and a brutal downfall that would end in tragedy. In this tale, we journey back to the 16th century, when the Tudor court was a hotbed of ambition, power, and betrayal. Early Life and Background Catherine Howard was born around 1523, and the exact date remains uncertain to Edmund Howard and Jocasta Culpepper, two relatively minor members of the English aristocracy. She was a distant cousin to Anne Bullen, Henry VIII's ill-fated second wife. Catherine's early life was far from the luxury of the Tudor court. She grew up in the countryside, in the care of her step-grandmother, the Dowager Duchess of Norfolk. Catherine's family was not wealthy, and she needed a more formal education. Her upbringing was typical of many young noblewomen of her time, focused on learning domestic skills, embroidery, music, and dance. However, what set Catherine apart was her striking beauty and energetic personality. Her youthful charm and innocence would eventually captivate the heart of one of the most powerful men in Europe. Arrival at Court Catherine's life took a dramatic turn when she was sent to court to serve as a lady-in-waiting to Anne of Clevis, the fourth wife of Henry VIII. Catherine was a teenager at the time, and her innocence and naivete were immediately apparent to those around her. During this period, she caught the eye of the aging King Henry. By this point in his life, Henry VIII was in his mid-forties and plagued by health issues. His once athletic frame had given way to obesity, and his physical and mental health were deteriorating. Despite his age and infirmities, Henry was still obsessed with producing a male heir to secure the Tudor dynasty's future. His marriage to Anne of Clevis had been unconsummated and swiftly annulled, leaving him eager to find a new bride to provide the much-needed heir. Catherine's youth, beauty, and vivacity made her a perfect candidate for Henry's affection. Her arrival at court coincided with Henry desperately seeking a new wife, and Catherine's appearance seemed to rekindle the king's lust for love and procreation. A Forbidden Love As Catherine served in of Clevis at court, she quickly came to the attention of King Henry. The exact details of their initial encounters remain shrouded in historical ambiguity, but it is widely believed that Henry's pursuit of Catherine was anything but chaste. Despite the significant age difference, Henry became fascinated with the young and vibrant Catherine. The king's advances were impossible for Catherine to resist, given his vast power over her. She was a young girl inexperienced in courtly politics and the king's machinations. Catherine's family, notably her uncle, the Duke of Norfolk, saw this as an opportunity to rise in influence and prestige, and they encouraged her to respond favorably to Henry's advances. 1540 Henry married Catherine in a lavish ceremony, making her his fifth wife. Catherine Howard, a teenage girl of around 17, became Queen of England. Her position was precarious, given the volatile nature of Henry's previous marriages, especially the fates of his second and fifth wives, and Bullen and Anne of Clevis. Catherine's Brief Reign As queen, Catherine's primary duty was to produce a male heir to secure the Tudor line. However, her youth and inexperience made her ill-prepared for the political and religious challenges of the time. Henry's marital history had created a complex web of alliances and animosities within the English court. Catherine was expected to navigate these treacherous waters while also dealing with the religious turmoil of the Protestant Reformation. Despite the challenges, Catherine Howard initially enjoyed popularity at court. Her beauty and charm endeared her to many, and she was seen as a breath of fresh air after the plain and unassuming end of Clevis. She enthusiastically embraced the role of queen and relished in the luxury and privilege that came with it. However, Catherine's reign would be marked by scandal and controversy. 
She was known to be reckless and indiscreet, and her close relationships with certain court members would ultimately lead to her downfall. The downfall begins. One of Catherine's closest confidants was her lady-in-waiting, Jane Bullen, Lady Rockford. Jane was the widow of George Bullen, and Bullen's brother, who had been executed on charges of incest with the Queen. Jane was a bitter and vengeful woman who resented the Bullen's fall from grace. She would play a significant role in Catherine's undoing. Rumors of Catherine's past indiscretions began to circulate at court. It was revealed that before her marriage to Henry, she had engaged in a romantic relationship with Thomas Culpepper, a King's Inner Circle member. Her premarital affair with Culpepper and her questionable conduct as Queen created a scandalous image that cast a dark shadow over her reign. To make matters worse, Catherine was also accused of maintaining a relationship with Francis Deerham, a former lover from her youth. Deerham had followed Catherine to court and was given a position in her household. The discovery of these past relationships would be a fatal blow to Catherine's reputation. Investigation and Arrest In November 1541, Archbishop Thomas Cranmer received a letter containing allegations of Catherine's premarital affairs and her relationships with Thomas Culpepper and Francis Deerham. Cranmer, a supporter of the Reformation and a political figure of considerable influence, believed it was his duty to investigate the accusations against the Queen. The investigation uncovered damning evidence, including love letters between Catherine and Culpepper. Catherine's private life was laid bare for all to see, and her reputation was tarnished. Deerham, under pressure, admitted to his previous relationship with Catherine, further damaging her credibility. With the evidence mounting against her, Catherine Howard was arrested on November 22, 1541. Her arrest sent shockwaves through the court, and the scandal became the talk of the kingdom. Trial and Execution Catherine's trial was swift and merciless. She faced charges of adultery, treason, and incest. Her previous relationships with Culpepper and Deerham were presented as evidence of her unchaste behavior. The court painted a picture of a young queen who had betrayed her husband and the kingdom's trust. Catherine's uncle, the Duke of Norfolk, played a particularly grim role in her trial. He recognized that his standing in court was at stake and cooperated fully with the prosecution. Catherine's guilt was almost certain in the eyes of the court, and she had no hope of a fair trial. On February 10, 1542, Catherine Howard was found guilty of all charges. She was condemned to death by beheading. Henry VIII, though deeply saddened by the downfall of his young wife, did not intervene to save her. He had her marriage to him annulled, which meant she was no longer legally queen, and her execution was carried out. On the morning of February 13, 1542, Catherine Howard, the teenage queen whose life had spiraled into scandal and disgrace, was led to the scaffold at the Tower of London. She faced her death with dignity, making a short speech in which she acknowledged her sins and asked for forgiveness. Then, she knelt and was executed by the headsman's axe. Catherine Howard was buried in an unmarked grave at the Tower of London alongside her cousin and Bullen and other unfortunate souls who had crossed Henry VIII. Her brief, tragic life was a cautionary tale of the dangers of the Tudor court and the consequences of youthful indiscretions in the shadow of absolute power. Legacy Catherine Howard's story is one of the most poignant and tragic in the annals of Tudor history. She was a young woman thrust into a world of political intrigue and courtly machinations, where her innocence and naivete made her vulnerable to manipulation and betrayal. Her life and death serve as a stark reminder of the perils faced by those who sought to navigate the treacherous waters of the Tudor court. Catherine Howard's memory symbolizes the fleeting nature of power and the devastating consequences of ill-fated love and indiscretion in the corridors of power.